So, as of today, Universe, it is official. 20th Century Fox na is now owned by Disney. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's done. The deal's over, we've been talking about it for months, and now it's officially concluded. As of 12.02 p.m., Fox is now under the control of Disney. And we've been talking about it, we've been talking about it, but you never, you never really stop and think about what it's like for when it actually happens. Because you see, when this shit goes down, we don't talk about all of the people who get laid off, all the people who can't find a job anymore, people who get thrown out of offices, you know, thousands of people get laid off in these mergers. A lot of people don't seem to talk about that. And it's kind of hard because these are people's, you know, this is people's livelihood, this is what they've been dreaming of to do, most of them. And it's really tragic to see that most of these people do lose their jobs. But, you know, business, you know, it's sadly business, and this is what happens in these kind of, uh, in these businesses. Um, now, the main thing with this is that it's so weird that, you know, another corporation has just been taken over by Disney. You know, they've had Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, and now 20th Century Fox. It makes you wonder if the, you know, the Disney train is ever going to stop. It does make you stop in one, you know, is the Disney train going to stop here? Hard to say because now they have so many IPs. You know they can you can they can really play with. There's so many IPs they can play with. Um, of course, the two big ones are Fox. You know that Fox had was Fantastic Four and X Men. Those were the big two. And it's interesting to note that we that's all what a lot of people have been talking about. That is the only thing everyone has ever talked about. Me personally, I've always thought about you know, the other stuff outside... Yes, it's cool that, you know, Marvel, you know, two new, big franchises that Marvel has always been known best for has, you know, come home. They've come home, but we don't know what it's going to be like when they do come home and how they're going to work. So the big question... Is, but the other question is, what is the other IPs that are going to happen? You know, what's going to happen to them? What is going to happen to Predator? Uh, Alien? Uh, Planet of the Apes, Terminator, you know, all of those, you know, franchises. What is going to happen to those major franchises now that, you know, Disney owns them? Now, yes, we are getting for the 40th anniversary an alien series of six short films that look very fan filmy, but I'll talk about that when that comes out. But... The other thing we have to the other thing we have to look at is again those franchises are now really open the door. Let's also not forget that they have Gremlins, uh, Family Guy, The Simpsons, American Dad. They have all of those shows. It's a weird time to look at that Mickey, you know, that the mouse now shares a home with The Simpsons. It's a weird time, but it makes you wonder of what's going to happen over at. Um, Universal, because yeah, they had a Simpsons, they've got a Simpsons land over at, you know, <laughs> over at Universal in both parks. Granted, one's bigger than the other, but still, you know, uh, what, uh, you know, can't really say much about that. Anyway, so the main thing is that, you know, this opens up a new door to not just, you know, having Fox and, you know, having Fox now, you know, with... X-Men and Fantastic Four, although I have a big feeling that was part of the reason why they wanted the buyout, was so they could get those characters, and I guess they couldn't organize a deal with, um, with them like they did Sony, because I'm pretty sure that wounded, you know, that wounded animal that is Sony is probably next on Disney's list. You know, if Apple doesn't take them, they'll come in and be like, oh, Spider-Man's officially ours now, all ours, Spider-Man, mine, not yours, mine. So... There you go. Now, the other thing we have to look at is that what are they going to do with these franchises? Honestly, I think it would be Dis in Disney's best interest if they, you know, since they have so many IPs now that Fox had, you know, both television-wise and movie-wise, it would be a stupid move not, you know, not to utilize that. You have a whole other thing. And it's very interesting to note that before, and I talked about this before on this channel, is that one of the major things with this merger, and one of the things they talked about with Alien and Predator, is that Alien and Predator, they stressed very highly that Alien and Predator, much like with Deadpool, that by Bob Iger, a lot of people kept forgetting this, and Disney had to remind them multiple times, Bob Iger said specifically that 
Deadpool was going to remain R. Deadpool was... I think Disney realizes that, you know, they're not going to fuck with that cash cow. Um, but Disney... I think Disney also made a statement saying that Alien and Predator will remain R-rated. And you don't say that unless you have plans for Alien and Predator. You don't say that unless you have an idea for that franchise. You do not say, you know, they could e easily have made a statement going, yeah, we're just totally going to sell the rights or get or not even do anything with them. Because that's not, remember, the other thing that Disney owns is Miramax. They have, you know, they own a large a sum of Miramax. So technically speaking, Pulp Fiction is a Disney movie. Yeah, wrap your head around that for a second. Pulp Fiction it, and, and more than half of Quentin Tarantino's films are under the Disney brand. Just let that sink in for a moment. Just let, just let that sink in for a moment. Just, just think about that. But yeah, you don't say that unless you have something planned. And it's also interesting to note that before that, they met, Bob Iger and the rest of the Disney heads made a very interesting statement um, for Disney Plus in that they said that Disney Plus will also not only be home for Disney franchises, but for other you know non-Disney properties. What that translates to is we're probably going to see some Fox-related stuff on Disney. It could be, you know, there's been a lot of rumors for a new Alien TV series, so I would not be shocked after this merger that they come out and say sometime to be, watch this, I like am like 60% sure this will happen, is that they will probably make a statement saying sometime during Comic-Con that they will own, you know, they will do, Disney Plus will also be making an Alien TV series, like, yeah, an Alien TV series or something of that degree. I mean, they're already going for more darker content with The Mandalorian and several other shows, so it would make it, it would take logical sense that it would probably be like this as well. This is a double-edged sword, guys. This really is an honest-to-god double-edged sword, because on one hand, it's cool that, you know, Disney now, you know, has a plethora of stuff they can, you know, they can use um, to their advantage. There's a plethora of things that they can use... Um, in this, you know, this new, whole new world that they now officially own after, you know, the buyout went, will they, won't they, will they, won't they, and then, yeah, it finally got bought, and now it's official as of today. It's just a strange world to look at, isn't it? But on the other end of the spectrum, you have to realize that a lot of people just lost their jobs. A lot of people are even still terrified out of their minds, probably, over at Fox, and maybe some of the people at Disney right now because these mergers on both sides people have are always scared of losing their jobs that's a big thing is that a lot of people do get scared um, that they may lose their jobs at any given point that is a major you know consequence that people have to look at so on one end of the spectrum it's in, it's a whole new world that we can look at you know it's a weird thing to look at that the xenomorph can now technically be called a uh, a disney princess just, just sit on that for a moment. Um, anyway, so I can't even begin, but on the other end, I can't even begin to, to tell you that, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking for all these people who just probably just now lost their jobs. Um, that's one thing they don't talk about in these things. And now it may be a little harder for YouTubers who have Alien Center, Ch Alien Predator, and other, you know, Fox-centric channels to get a heart, get away with stuff because sometimes those Disney bots get a little cruel. They tend to get a little cruel sometimes, so it might be a little scary now for those other YouTube channels. You know, it's it might be a little difficult now. So it's like I said, it's a double-edged sword that we are now living in. You know, we are living on. Even if you even if you don't work for Disney and or Fox, it's now one and the same. It's now just a whole new world, and now we just have to brave it. That's all I can say is, you know, we just have to brave it now. So, you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Disney now officially owning Fox? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? What do you guys think of, you know, now the potential of, you know, X-Men and Fantastic Four coming to the Marvel U MCU, as well as the other stuff like Alien Predator and what have you? Just comment below, let us know here at the Universe... And I'm DPZ, and I will see you right here once more in the universe.